The average price of a gallon of gas in America is about $2 these days. Here in Metro Detroit, it's closer to a buck 50. We are seemingly far removed from the tenor of 2008, where fuel prices were skyrocketing and automakers were filing for bankruptcy. That helps to explain, at least in part, why SUV sales are skyrocketing again. And frankly, an America that loves SUVs should really love the Cadillac Escalade. The Caddy has been successful enough to buck the trend towards smaller vehicles in lean years and is flourishing in today's market. Critically, it's still one of the best luxury SUVs that money can buy. How does it look? Honestly, if there's a vehicle that better deserves the descriptor baller, I'm not sure what it is. The latest Escalade is bigger and bolder even than its predecessors, but with the same knife edge LED lit styling you'll find across the Cadillac range. The look isn't subtle, though nothing from the competitors is either. If you're looking for a large luxury SUV, subtle isn't on the table. How's the storage? The tailgate is split with access to the top glass if you'd like it, and it's got an automatic open and close function. Cadillac found room for dozens of cup holders and cubbies in this huge interior, and my tester has an optional cooling box in the center console, so I'll never run out of cold drinks. There's more than enough room for the various headphones and remote control you need to run the rear entertainment, too. Just remember to bring along your favorite Blu-ray. Is it roomy? There's a reason that you see so many NBA rookies driving around in new Escalades. In the front seats in the middle row, even guys as tall as I am have tons of head, leg, and elbow room. The captain's chairs in the middle are probably the best seats in the house, and even the third row is usable for adult passengers in a pinch. How does the interior feel? In this jet black color, the interior design is a bit more sedate than the exterior, but only just. Everywhere you look, you see leather, wood, chrome, metal, and touches like the suede on the glove box feel really decadent. The touch points all seem very well considered in here. The Nappa leather on the front and middle seats feels to be of good quality, and nothing comes off as too plasticky or faked. I will say that the brown leather and wood combinations I've seen in other Escalades feel richer, but the black will undoubtedly wear better. Is it well equipped? An Escalade wouldn't be true to its heritage if it didn't offer nearly every feature that exists in the GM universe. This version has both the Platinum Collection trim and the Luxury Convenience Pack, meaning that nearly everything is packed in. 16-speaker audio with three screens to watch Blu-ray discs and Clips headphones for audio. You can wirelessly charge your phone, as long as your phone supports it, and make use of Apple CarPlay. In terms of comfort, the Caddy packs heated and cooled front seats with a massaging function and 18-way adjustability. The second row chairs are also heated with separate climate control functions. If you couldn't tell from the 22-inch chrome wheels, this truck is loaded. How's the infotainment system? Cadillac's Q system has been hotly debated and derided since its first instantiation. I don't hate the touch controls, but I don't think they're game-changing either. However, I think the overall feature set of Q is very high. You'll just have to spend a lot more time learning how to access it all. Is it a good daily driver? I suppose that depends on where you're driving it. Uh, SUVs like this thrive in the suburbs with plentiful parking and easy access to highways. If you live somewhere a bit more crowded, uh, I suppose you might have trouble with parking or negotiating narrow streets, though the around view camera helps with that a lot. So in terms of commuting, you obviously get a commanding view of the highway and you've got more than enough power to get where you want to be in your lane. Um, I will say that the 22 inch wheels, while they look good, uh, hurt ride quality a little bit when you're on broken stretches of highway, and, and we've got kind of a lot of those in the Snowbelt region and certainly around Detroit. Is it fun to drive? The 420 horsepower V8 makes a hell of a sound when you dig into the throttle, which is always nice. And the 460 pound-feet of torque make it feel really quick despite the fact that this is one whale of a heavy vehicle. But driving quickly in a straight line is about all the fun that you're gonna have. The Escalade is really squishy if you're silly enough to throw it hard into a corner. How's the fuel economy? All things considered, not bad. 
It's rated at 15 city and 22 highway, and it's helped out by GM's new eight-speed automatic transmission. The numbers feel realistic to hit, especially on the highway, where the V8 will drop into four-cylinder displacement on demand mode, even at a steady 70 mile per hour cruise. How much is it? Pricing starts at about 73,000 for the base model. And base model is a relative term here. Every Escalade is pretty plush. With two fat options packages and four wheel drive, my tester comes out to $95,000. That range between base and tested puts it squarely in line with the Mercedes-Benz GL and the Infiniti QX80. Both of those vehicles bottom out about 10 grand less, but you'll rarely see them sold that way. What are the negatives? Listen, I really love driving this yacht around for a week, but even I recognize that the Escalade is about as subtle as American flag pants. If you drive this truck, you're gonna get noticed. So if that's not your thing, you might look elsewhere. Who should buy it? If you're unconcerned with the conspicuous consumption image or have a lot of people or a boat to haul, there's hardly a better way to do it with a large SUV today than this Escalade. General Motors has been great at building utility vehicles for a long time. And this Escalade is the pinnacle of that art. Hey guys, if you liked our Escalade review, like it, comment on it, tell your friends about it, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have a lot more reviews in the future.